Hey everyone, this is J Dog, and I'm here with another video. And this is another edition of J Dog Sports. Alright, so these are the nominees for the 2023 SPs, SP Awards. That's the award show. That's kind of like the Grammys or the Oscars or the Emmys, but it's for sports. Um, it's July 12th, um, um, yeah, all I know is it's this, yeah, it's, yeah, July 12th, this date is wrong, but this is the right date, July 12th, 2023, you can actually vote by going to ESPN.com slash SPs, because you can vote for who you want to win certain categories. But do it now. Check to see if there's still voting going on right now because that could help your favorite athlete win. Now, I am happy for a lot of these nominations. And some are, whether I like the athlete or not, they were well deserving of the nominations. Like, for example, you have Nikolai. Jokic, he's nominated for male athlete. Also, Patrick Mahomes is nominated for male athlete because these two are champions. He is on the championship winning team in the NBA, the Denver Nuggets. I meant to do a, a congratulation to the Denver Nuggets um, a while back, but I, um, I got sick and I ended up forgetting to... Um, do a J Dog Sports on the the Denver Nuggets winning the NBA championship. So his team won, and that's why he's nominated. He's also nominated for best in um, NBA athlete of the year. Patrick Mahomes is the quarterback for the Kansas City Chiefs. So I was expecting he was going to be nominated because his team won the Super Bowl. Um. Angel Reese, I'm happy because her team, the LSU Tigers, won the NCAA Women's Basketball Championship, and she was the breakout star of that tournament. I also like the fact that John Jones and Jamal is two of the four nominees for Comeback Athlete. John Jones, after going through scandal and hardship and injury, he was managed to overcome his demons and win the heavyweight UFC heavyweight championship. Now, the title was vacated because the previous champion, Francis Nandango, withdrawed not only the title, but withdrawal from the UFC. He's now fighting for the PFL. John Jones stepped up because he was supposed to be the original opponent of Francis. Another, um, and John Jones took on another opponent for the vacant title, and John Jones won. I'm glad. He's also nominated for UFC Fighter of the Year. That's MMA, although it's only for the UFC. I'm kind of disappointed it's not called the MMA Fighter of the Year, because if it's only for UFC, then that means Bellator or PFL, those fighters cannot be nominated. But I am happy that John Jones got UFC Fighter of the Year and Comeback Athlete of the Year. After what he, I actually just voted for him recently for him to win. Of course, the Nuggets and the Kansas City, wait a minute, hold, yes, Kansas City Chiefs and the LSU Tigers are three of the teams that are nominated for best teams of the year because they won championships. LeBron James, congratulations for his nomination. He, but his surpassing Kareem Abdul-Jabbar record, it was the most popular record-breaking performance. I'm actually picking LeBron to win because that was the more popular moment when it comes to breaking records. I hope he won, wins. I actually voted for LeBron James. Um, to win that award. Now, I am excited for 
the boxer, best boxer of the year. Now, first of all, I wish that these individuals were in separate categories that separated from gender, best female boxer and best male boxer. Yes, yeah, some of these categories, because you have both women and men soccer players, if you don't separate them into gender categories, you actually take away opportunities from certain athletes. For example, if want more women want to be nominated, it's best to have a women's nomination um, category for just women. But that's another story. But I am happy that Christian Shields is nominated once again for a SP award. She was nominated a couple of times. This is her, I don't, I forget, I don't know how many times she's been nominated, but I'm glad she's been nominated again. And not only that, you also have Javante Take Davis, Devin Haney, and Shakur Stevens. Devin Haney is the undisputed champion in lightweight. Carisha Shields is undisputed in the middleweight. Not to mention, she has been undisputed three times in two weight divisions. The only person, man or woman, in boxing to do that. I'm actually picking her and Devin Haney to win after the tough fights they had to go through. But yeah, and you it's mostly black American fighters. With the hardship that black American fighters have to go through from being rejected even from their own people, their own country. Luckily, I'm not one of those people. I've been rooting for black American fighters ever since I started watching boxing. And I'm glad that it's a mostly black American lineup. It doesn't matter who wins. It's going to be a black American fighter that wins best boxer of the year. This is what I'm happy for. So congratulations to all four boxers for at least being nominated. And I guess these are honors. This Lim Hendricks and the, the women's national soccer team. They're getting honorary awards. Um... Now, I can't go through everyone, but uh, ev everything, but um, those were the ones that I was focused on the most when I wanted to talk about this topic. But good luck on July 12th to all the athletes nominated. I will do a follow-up video for the winner when the winners are announced and what I was happy. And, uh, yeah, I'll talk about the winners um, and a future SP awards for the winners because that's what I did when I did for the 2022 I did when I talk about the announcement of the nominations and then another video on the topic about the winners and I will do that after during or after July 12th when I talk about the winners who won the awards but that's all I have to say for now um um this is another edition of J Dog Sports. Um, I want to thank everyone for watching. Um, I hope to do more of these J Dog Sports segments. But I want to know what y'all think in the comment section. What you think about this one? And are you going to vote for some of these right now? And are you happy with the nominations? Um, also, make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And um, make sure you share this video as well. And like I said, in the comment section, tell me what you feel about these nominations. Who do you think should have been nominated? Who do you think you're happy that to get nominated or not happy they got nominated? Who do you think should win? Also put down who you think you sh should win. But that's all I have to say for now. This is J-Dog. Thank you for watching. And I hope to catch you all in another video. Peace, everyone. And then once again, this is another edition of J-Dog Sports.